Round Rock ISD surpasses 48,000 students and crosses 50,000 students in the next five years, our goal is to continue to meet the needs of our community in the areas of growth, innovation, and safety. Our district adopted our strategic plan in May 2015 thanks to the voices of 13,500 plus students and community members. This plan represents a course of action for academic initiatives and offerings for the next 10 years, laying the foundation for our call bond election on May 6, 2017. The fruit of that strategic plan has already sprouted with educational offerings from the opening of the Wells Branch and Berkman Arts Integration Academies, Jolie Johnson Elementary STEAM Academy, and an early college high school at ACC campus. Thanks to the leadership of our Board of Trustees and our 100 plus member Citizens Bond Committee, we now present to the community a bond package that builds campuses, expands and improves classrooms, career technology program, athletic and fine arts facilities, and provides additional technology, resources, and improvements. Since Round Rock ISD's last bond in 2014, the district has continued to grow. It is projected that by the 2021-2022 school year, Round Rock ISD's enrollment will exceed 50,000 students. Round Rock ISD has worked diligently to accommodate new students through portable buildings and additional faculty and staff. However, continued growth has resulted in school populations that exceed the brick and mortar capacity of existing facilities. On May 6, 2017, the voters will have the opportunity to vote on a bond election, which was approved by the Round Rock ISD Board of Trustees during its regular meeting held on February 16, 2017. The $572.1 million bond package currently proposes building new schools, expanding classrooms at a number of campuses, renovating existing facilities, refreshing technology, and expanding access to fine arts and athletic venues. The bond is divided into three propositions. Proposition 1 addresses the highest priority needs of the district's growth and safety, including the construction of new schools, continuation of campus master plans for long-term renovations, improvements to aging facilities, and a district-wide technology refresh for $381.7 million. The key projects currently planned include a new elementary campus to address continually growing enrollment at Harrington Elementary School in Northeast Round Rock, which will increase to 1,600 students in 10 years, and a new high school located on Pearson Ranch Road to address continually growing enrollment at Round Rock High School, which will surpass 3,700 students in five years. Construction of a new high school will alleviate the immediate need for high school number seven. Completion of phase four at Westwood, the district's second oldest high school, to add flexible classroom spaces, a new dance and ROTC addition, and renovations to band and lecture halls. Design and construction of phase two in McNeil High School's master plan, which will include renovations for the cafeteria and facilities for fine arts, athletics, and career and technical education programs. An independent study identified technology needs to enhance safety at our schools, including door access panels, visitor management systems, campus announcement systems, and security cameras. All campuses throughout the district would be impacted by these updates. Aging buses will be replaced and the district's fleet of buses will be increased to accommodate growth. Ensuring the equipment our campuses utilize each day provides students with a comfortable and functional learning environment. Through the next generation digital classroom pilot, Round Rock ISD has provided equal access to technology for students across the district. To provide students with up-to-date, efficient systems, a district-wide technology refresh is included. Proposition 2 currently proposes projects to address the district's growth and innovation, including classroom expansions at elementary, middle, and high schools to accommodate continuing growth and enrollment, and the construction of specialized campuses for $133.6 million. In alignment with preparing students for post-secondary success, a career tech high school will offer engineering, technology, and skilled trade courses to align with the workforce needs of Central Texas, while providing opportunities to earn certifications and college credit. CD Folks Middle School will be transitioned into a visual and performing arts academy. To align with the program specialization, the campus will undergo learning space additions to replace aging facilities. The $45 million cost would cover construction of a new school to be built behind the existing school. The design of a combined early college and health professions high school will help plan a future facility to offer early access to college and career pathways. The district's early college high school is completing its inaugural year housed in portables on the Austin Community College Round Rock campus. Classroom expansions will occur at Brushy Creek, 
Forest Creek, Summer, and Caraway Elementary Schools to eliminate the need for portable classroom buildings. A sixth classroom addition and athletics expansion will be constructed at Canyon Vista Middle School and the cafeteria and courtyard at Stony Point High School will be extended. Proposition 3 addresses fine arts and athletic facilities, including an indoor aquatic center, a third outdoor athletic facility, and designs for fine arts auditoriums for $56.8 million. To accommodate our growing district, an indoor aquatic center will serve all competitive swim programs for hosting district, regional, and state meets as a practice facility for programs in its proximity and allow the district to launch safe swim and special needs therapy programs. To alleviate the need for Thursday night home athletic events, a third outdoor athletic facility will be constructed to serve the district's varsity programs, including football, band, soccer, track, and lacrosse programs. Dragon Stadium will also go undergo renovations. District middle schools will see updates and expansions to athletic facilities, including training additions at Grisham and Chisholm Trail Middle Schools, a track and gymnasium addition at Hernandez Middle School, and field enhancements to include resurfacing. The design of auditoriums and parking solutions for Round Rock and Westwood High Schools will allow the district to complete the work from Bond 2014 for regional performance spaces to serve our communities, totaling $6 million. The $572.1 million bond package is estimated to cost the average homeowner approximately $2.23 per month or $26.74 per year. There are two types of taxes that make up your annual school tax bill. The first tax is referred to as the MNO, or Maintenance and Operations Tax. State law prohibits that this tax go above $1.04 per $100 valuation without voter approval. MNO dollars are used for salaries and for paying things such as the district's electric and phone bill. Round Rock ISD has not asked voters to increase its MNO tax rate. The second tax is used to pay debt service on the district's school bonds. When voters approve a bond proposition, they authorize the school district to sell bonds to fund new facilities, additions, and renovations, and the purchase of land, buses, technology equipment, and capital renewal and replacement. The bonds are repaid through a portion of the taxes paid by property owners. By law, bond funds cannot be used for operating expenses. The current total tax rate for Round Rock ISD is $1.3325 per $100 valuation. $1.04 is for m and and just over $0.29 cents for debt service. This rate is a reflection of the 2.2% decrease the district saw in 2014 and is part of the district's effort to continue to provide taxpayer savings over the long term, maintain the district's tax rate as one of the lowest in the region, help reduce the district's overall debt, and prepare for continued growth. Round Rock ISD is the only school district in Texas to achieve a AAA bond rating from both Moody's and Fitch credit rating agencies. Based on current assessed valuations, as well as future projections in the district, the passage of all three bond propositions could increase the debt service rate from $0.2925 to $0.3026, equaling a $2.23 per month tax increase to the average homeowner. This tax rate increase would not take effect until 2020. As property within Round Rock continues to grow in value, Round Rock ISD remains dedicated to financial responsibility. Round Rock ISD has the second lowest tax rate among school districts in the area. Election day is just around the corner, and it's important that you exercise your right to vote. Early voting runs from Monday, April 24th through Tuesday, May 2nd, with Saturday, May 6th being the election day. For detailed information on Bond 2017, along with voting information for both Travis and Williamson counties, please visit bond.roundrockisd.org.